Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk about the Dynama. We will create the plan and we will stand up our um, building in Dynama. You will see it, everything we will do in Dynama. So if you are ready, let's get started. As always, I will start from the scratch, so create the new project. Doesn't matter which template you want to use, I will use the standard one, architecture one. You can use any template which you want. So uh, we not will use any project right now, we will straight, we will go to the manage and here we will find the Dynama. So let's use Dynama. I'm using, by the way, the Revit 2020, so it means I already have Dynama, Dynama version 2.0 and higher. So it means if you are using, for example, Revit 2019, you will get maybe some notes a bit different. So just take care about that. So here we are, here is our Dynama and let's create the new one. Let's create the new, our new the node and now we will start the scripting. All scripting we will start from the point. So first I will draw what I want to do, what I want to do, what I want to do. So here it will be one point, here it will be second, here what some points I will draw and you will see what we will get. And after that I just want to get the plan, let's say I'll change the color. And we want, oh, that's not this color, let's change, for example, this color to magenta and I want to create the plan. Here is, will be my plan, like, yeah, I'm not so perfect uh, artist, but I think you will see what I want to do. So I want to create the building like this, uh, I think as simple as that, and we will create it in Dynama. So once we will move these points somewhere here, the all our building will change position if you will move this point somewhere here let's say so the y and x direction and this building will move position too uh the drawing is so badly i am sorry 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 uh, anyway i will show you right now what we will do and we will start from the point so let's uh, find here in searching engine we will find the point just write the point and you will see here point by coordinates so this is what i want we will use now a lot of the things like a lot of the points and it will be so messy but this is tutorial not about how to make our dynamo design scripting very nice this is tutorial how to do that and after that we will uh, produce it and we'll see how we can make it uh, more clean so here is our point by default it's on the zero it's zero x zero y and zero z so it means it's exactly on the world z world zero point now we will change it i need the code block just uh, double left click and let's say here will be zero here will be zero and here will be zero too i'm using the code block because uh, i don't need any more any some special blocks right now the code block it's more than enough let's connect it to the x to the y and to the z to better understand you can say this is equal x this is equal y and this is equal z and now you understand what you're changing for Okay, so awesome. So here is the, our first point and we will leave it there as it is. So we not will change the position. This is will be our starting point. So let's go back and let's copy everything. For example, here, it will be better to understand us. Uh, and what we're going to do next. Now I will change the Y position. Y position this this direction. So X this one direction. This is X direction and Y it's this direction. It's a bit different uh, and the height this is Z okay I think you understand okay so uh, I wanna move my point somewhere here so it means I will do it 5000 millimeters uh, yes we are working here in millimeters and that's why I will write it in millimeters you not will see anything oh here is the mistake it should be like this and here is 5000 millimeters somewhere there so let's go back to the 3d let's I'll rotate it and let's i will just zoom it out okay let's go back to the uh, graph mode and now you can see here is my first point here is my second point so first and second point okay now we need next point let's copy that one and the next point it should be be somewhere here so it's the y position it will be zero 
and the x position it will be minus 5000 so let's do everything same oh this is will be plus 5000 okay and as you can see here is the point if I, you will select it you will see it's on the blue car color let's select this one let's copy it and now we want to say this is will be y also 5000 5, but as you see i'm not changing x position because it's now here okay halfway we already finished so let's i'll make like this and now we need two more points okay let's go back to the 3d now let's do everything more closely later on we will change it uh okay we need two more points so let's i will copy this one it's here so some of my mistakes oh this is large oh this is nice thing because now um, dynamo saying us uh, we are using really large scale project and we should change the settings let's go back to the settings here you will find for example uh, geometry scaling and let's change to the large or extra large up to you i will use the uh, large and as you can see now everything working without any mistakes and any warnings okay here's our point and now i'm changing this point to the 10,000. why it's 10,000? because it's here uh okay this is here not i want to make it somewhere here on this point so it means it will be here 10,000. 10 1 2 3 and this one will be zero and it's here now as you can see from the 0 to the 10 okay let's copy this one and what we're gonna do next uh, where is the my this is my point one this is my point two mm, it's me going the mistake in me <laughs> and this one one more point this one will be 10,000 and this will be half 2,500 millimeter it's here but 2500 millimeter it's not so cool because uh, I know wanna um, I know wanna manipulate with this data so how we can do that we will do a divide by 2 a divide by 2 and now this parameter weighting a and uh, this one this y we will connect here and now once we will change here for example from the 5000 to 10,000 let's say this is will be 10,000 and it will change both as you can see change position both so let's i will do here again 5000 and it both changing position okay awesome uh actually not this one x x position sorry so it will be 10000 yeah now it's changing position both okay awesome now we are switching to the line and now you will see everything more perfect than you can see right now because now as you can see only the dots let's create line just right click right line and you will get line by start and end point yes you can say why are you using the line and points i'm using the line and points only to show you how you can manipulate with that so yes i can make it more faster without any so uh deep scripting uh, but uh, uh too much understand what's going on on your screen you should start from the small thing so don't forget this is tutorial not only for professional this is tutorial mostly for the noobs in dynamo okay here is the my line and let's connect one point to the other point and we will get the first line here this is first line let's select this uh let's copy this uh line and let's connect this line to that line that, that that point to that point and we get the result so and let's make it it sounds uh, i will try to make it like for example uh here is my line and here is uh, my line and here is my line and here is my line and other line will be here so i will just try to manage it uh, yes i know this is a bit stupidly but uh, it will be easily to understand where what um, what we will put okay so next uh, I need to copy it again uh, okay as I said this is one my line and here is the another my line no this is not my line because this is somewhere here no this is not this mistake let's check it out where is that it's also not and I think this one yeah this one line that line and that line so is the dot dot is here dot is here okay 
uh, this is dot here and this dot here so we need one more line it will be here we should connect it one and two and we get this line uh, now I need connect this dot with that dot where is this dot I try and find okay here this one dot and this one dot we should connect it by line so it will be here let's connect one line and second line and now we need one more point but we doesn't have it how we can get it we need create it actually we have a lot of the ways how we can create one more point we can do again the same system or we can create just a line and after that create the point so up to you i will use uh, the second way we will create the point because mm, we will later on manipulate with that point so how we can do that we need again this system let's copy it let's copy it everything uh, here is my points so let's say here it will be uh, minus five uh, plus five thousand plus five thousand and here it will be two thousand five hundred millimeter oh i forgot the brackets okay and we get this point as you can see so let's put everything a bit down and this one i will put a bit here it will be on the middle we will understand here is the my middle point so let's find our points we need connect these points and that point okay let's copy the line again and let's connect this point to that point okay now we need connect that point with that point no where is this point mm -hmm. this point and this point okay let's do that we need one more line let's connect it one and two and last one which we will connect right now this point and this point so this point and that point that point sorry let's connect it that point and that point no this one sorry okay done we have now our lines yes we have a lot of the lines and you can mistake it right now yes i know as i said we are not talking about design management uh, in uh, dynamo right now we are talking now only about how to create it as you can see here is the lines each lines now you can understand easily where is, the, where is it and each lines you can manipulate with data from here but this is we will talk a bit later on so now we can create the walls let's create the walls actually with walls we have most easiest thing so you just sh uh, should write here the wall and here what we will get wall by curve we should find you wall by curve and levels so this is what i want okay let's use it um curve or height mm, let's use it for example to height i want to manipulate with my height manually okay here is the curve here is the height here is the level and wall type let's find first uh, we will start from the end we will find here wall type and let's say this is will be some i don't know some some wall let's say here is uh, 4000 millimeters and let's connect to the wall next one it will be level let's write here the level and you will find here the levels okay level will be zero because we will start from the zero next one height let's say this is will be 3000 millimeter let's connect to the height and now the curve as you can see here is writing the curve but we can connect the curves we can what what we can do just right click let's say list we will find here the create the list and we need four lines to create uh, to create here walls right so let's find these lines one line i know this is line here 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 and here actually here is the five lines because we have also this part and let's say we have the five lines now i will everything will copy here and let's connect one line doesn't matter uh, in which uh, uh, how you will connect it so just connect one by one and that's it once i will select this create you will see my loop uh, lines and let's connect this list to the curve now you cannot see anything but if you will go to the revit 
let's go back to the Revit, let's go to the 3D and you will see here is our lines and here is our walls. Let's go back to back to the Dynamo and let's continue with the other part of our building. I will do it a bit differently, I will copy it again. But I will change here the curve and I will change here the height. I will make it 2000 maybe, um, let's do here the 9, 2900. And there we will change to the 5000 millimeter. This will be my, my 4000 millimeter, okay. Uh, again, we need the list, but now we need exactly four, four, four lines. Okay, let's find these lines. We need this line. We need this line. Oh my God, this line, this line, this line, and I think where is that? And this line. No, this line we don't need because we already have it on this list, as you can see. So minus one. So we have like only three walls and let's connect these three walls to the curve. Actually, if you will go back to the Dyna to the Revit, you will see the nice picture. You will see the our building. As you can see, the different parts have different heights. So by this way, you also can create floor, for example. But what what is the nice thing? Wh why we did that? Let's make it like this. And let's I'll put the my Dynamo script on the left side because it doesn't matter right now. And let's say the my first point, here is my first point. I think here is my first point, here is the second point and the last point, okay. Let's say this point I wanna change dimension and I will not change it to the 6000 millimeter. You see, it's automatically changing. And let's say I wanna ma make it like minus 500 millimeter. It's changing, minus 5000 millimeter and it's changing. So you can now manipulate everything with Dynamo, you don't need to redo it. You even can make it more interesting. So this is only now up to you. You are like a creator, you are an architect and you are an architect of this design script. So we'll do whatever you want and you will get the nice result in Dynamo 2. If you will change the height of your point, you will see this is will un, uh, unjoin. So it now the wall not join it. If you will say here is 4000, you will get the result like this, as you can see. Try to think how you can get this result if you will do it manually. It will be a bit hard to get this result. Yes, you can change the profile. You will change the profile to get this result. But now I'm doing by Revit, by Dynamo. This just in few clicks. So for you, it will be more hard if you will do it without Dynamo. Okay, guys, now you understand how to use Dynamo. I think this is, will be uh, useful for you. Yes, this is simple, but try uh, play with these simple things. And I think you will get a really nice result. I hope it was useful for you. If you find it like this, don't forget to like this video, share and some comments. Thank you, guys, and see you next time.